If you've ever listened to music, maybe some of you have, you've no doubt heard the sound of the TR-808. TR-909. And CR-78. Now, whilst those are wonderful, wonderful things, they stopped making them 40 years ago. Demand has steadily increased in the years since, and so the prices are... Ridiculous. So people turn to the alternatives, the CR8000 and the TR606, and the prices of those have started to drift northwards. So people turn to the non-programmable rhythm machines of the 1970s and mod them with MIDI kits, and the prices of those start to drift up. So anyone with a vintage analogue itch that needs a Roland scratch will have to save up some cash or forget about it, right? Well, there is one Roland machine that is vintage, analogue, programmable and inexpensive. And that's... The Boss Dr. Rhythm 110 from 1983. And before you say, Um, you said Roland drum machine, that's a Boss. Boss is a Roland company, so staccato staccato. Now, it looks like a guitar tuner, and it has some limitations that we'll discuss later, but this thing is surprisingly cool. I'm going to review the sounds with my face. Now, the DR110 is currently pretty cheap, depending on the condition and whether it has a case and a power supply. I've obviously now mentioned it on the internet, so the DR110 used to be pretty cheap. And jokes aside, because there's a lot of them out there and because they have their limitations and they're not exactly iconic, the price probably won't ever go too high. Probably. So what are those limitations? Well, there's no individual outs. The only mix option is a hi-hat and clap balance knob. Programming on the fly isn't easy, and it's really only best for playing back patterns you've pre-programmed. It can only play 4, 4 or 12, 8 time, and there's no sync in. So if you want to play in 7, 8 whilst externally clocked, you can't. Having said that, you can store 16 of your own patterns, and you can flip between them on the fly or sequence them in song mode. You can use the accent out as a clock pulse, so if you use it as the master, you can hook it up with other gear, and in that context, it's absolutely ace. It's also very easy to get a MIDI kit for it, like the Tubatech Unipulse, and there are loads of documented mods out there that do everything from beef up the kick a bit to transform it into a fully tweakable monster. The DR110 was one of only two analogue boss drum machines, the other being the DR55 from 1979, which tends to be a bit more expensive as it was used by a few famous artists. But if you've given up your dream for vintage analogue goodness, maybe check this guy out. And if you've stayed with me to the end of the video, then I've multi-sampled mine with 20 round robins per sound, and there's a free download with a contact patch in the video description. Just our little secret. Ridiculous.